Lord, open my lips. Christ has appeared to us. The Christ has appeared to us. In unison, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The reading, St. Mark, the first chapter. John appeared baptizing the wilderness and proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And all the country of Judea and all Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the river Jordan, confessing their sin. Now, John was clothed with camel's hair and wore a leather belt around his waist and ate locusts and wild honey. And he preached, saying, After me comes he who is mightier than I, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to stoop down and untie. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And when he came up out of the water, immediately he saw the heavens opening and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. And a voice came from heaven, You are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. O Lord, have mercy on us. This 
small catechism, the first petition of the Lord's Prayer. Together, hallowed be thy name. What does this mean? God's name is certainly holy in itself, but we pray in this petition that it may be kept holy among us also. How is God's name kept holy? God's name is kept holy when the word of God is taught in its truth and purity. And we as the children of God also lead holy lives according to it. Help us to do this, dear Father in heaven. But anyone who teaches or lives contrary to God's word profanes the name of God among us. Protect us from this, Heavenly Father. name of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ of the day school and those watching online, um, and the very fact that you're having to do this and you're wearing masks in the chapel and we have the space and uh, everything going out, this is a rather unusual time, correct? Okay, this, an event like this, this uh, COVID-19 uh, situation, has not occurred in the United States of America in about a hundred years in terms of disease. Now there's been other epidemics, but maybe nothing like, like this has happened in a hundred years that affected the whole United States as much as as COVID vaccine has. This is a big event in history. Uh, there's going to be another big event in, in history uh, next week. There'll be a new president inaugurated, just like there was another president inaugurated uh, four years ago. There's been tumultuous events in Washington, D.C., but all around the country. Big historic events. But in history, there's been a lot of events that seemed big at the time. And then they just kind of fade into other events that were big at the time. But how many events in history have there been when the heavens themselves opened up? The very heavens were split apart. We have one in our text today. It's at the baptism of Jesus. Our text says, and when he came up out of the water, immediately he, he saw the heavens opening and the Spirit descending on him like a dove. Now the heavens opening were, were, were not appear, apparent to the rest of the people surrounding Jesus, but Jesus saw what was going on because Jesus knows what his ministry is all about. And there's the dove, the Holy Spirit, and the voice of the Father, you are my beloved Son, with you I am well pleased. The baptism of Jesus is one of the most earth-shattering events in all of history. Far, far more important than COVID. Far, far more important than the other events that are, that are in the headlines right now. 
far, far more important than, say, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, or, on the other side, good news such as the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989. The baptism of Jesus is a monumental event. The heavens split open because it signals that God is bringing an end to sin, death, and hell, and he does that through his son, Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, you need to pay attention to what's important. First and foremost, it's Jesus, what he does. Today we lit the baptismal candle, not because there's baptismal birthdays, but because of the baptism of Jesus. At his baptism, Jesus begins his ministry of taking my place and your place and going to the cross and dying for your sins and mine. The ministry of Jesus is the high point of history. The heavens split open. Jesus saw that the heavens were splitting open, and you are blessed to know the same thing. What's important? Well, obviously, the COVID vaccine is important, yes. Obviously, the inauguration of a president is important. Obviously, some of the events of the past weeks and months are important. But nothing compares to Jesus because he is the son. He is the one that pleases the Father because his ministry takes away your sins and mine, reconciles you and me to the Father. And now, in our baptism, we can rejoice because God looks upon Jesus who took our place at his baptism, and that leads to him taking our place on the cross. Jesus and his ministry is the most important thing that's ever happened or will happen because Jesus is Lord and Jesus reigns and Jesus is with you right now. Amen. We stand for the Kyrie. O Lord, O Christ, O Lord, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Hear my prayer, O Lord. The day of my trouble I call upon you. Hide your face from my sins. Create in me a clean heart, O God. Cast me not away from your presence. Restore to me the joy of your salvation. Because your steadfast love is better than life. For you have been my help. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, with my whole heart. May all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Save your people and bless your heritage. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, who governs all things in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the prayers of your people and grant us your peace through all our days. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, 
that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. The Lord bless you, defend you from all evil, and bring you to everlasting life. Go forth in our Lord's name.